Join us now to talk more about the state of the economy and recession risks. Scott Sperling, co-CEO of THL Partners. He's also uh, the chair of Mass uh, General uh, Brigham. Thank you for joining us. Scott. My pleasure. Did your view of the world change very much in the past two weeks? With, with, uh... I, I, I would say that the, um, the view I've had is that the macro uncertainties are as high as I've seen in my 42 years in business. That has created uh, an enormous amount of risk in lots of different areas. And I think the combination of that with the, uh, the amount of fiscal stimulus and monetary stimulus we've seen over the last few years has created the situation that we're in today. I had no idea, obviously, about something uh, uh, like what happened with Silicon Valley Bank. I think it's just, just one more example of the unintended consequences of actions that more directly were positive uh, that were taken during the pandemic, but just another reflection that there are risks out there, as they say, that we just have no idea about. I mean, we have, ask anyone, I mean, we've talked about it so much that you ask anyone on the street, interest rates are going up. What does that mean? It's, well, it's bad for the NASDAQ, bad for yep. tech. We, everybody knew that, that interest rates going up can be, have a deleterious effect on things. Why did we miss the ball on, on duration risk? And, and knowing that we were at zero for so long, right. shouldn't we have known that there's a lot of paper out there that isn't marked to market? I mean, and we're hearing more and more about it. loans, uh, insurance companies, yeah. commercial loans, real mortgage estate. backs, real yeah. estate. Everything's marked at par, and it's not at par. Right. And I, I think the one piece of good news in that is that the nature of, of the securities are, if you look at Silicon Valley Bank, it was treasuries. So um, enormous exposure, enormous uh, mismatch in terms of the assets and the but money good eventually but eventually money good what about the 90 billion and, dollars in loans that the fdic and, is still setting on it and, 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 that, right. and that and that's where we don't know and that's one of the issues that will we'll see flow through the entirety of the economy i would say that that the probability that earnings are going to meet expectations in the next couple of quarters is not high i think that's going to be something else the market's going to try to absorb I think we've migrated the economy to business models that are better business models and that represent a higher percentage of the public uh, equity uh, markets uh, than we had a decade ago. Uh, you know, we, I was saying to somebody today that in the uh, four decades I've been doing this, there have been numerous times where we've said, gee, that next generation is going to have it much worse than we had it. There's not going to be any growth. And yet ingenuity technology, often deregulation leads to these spurts of significant growth that's been very helpful to the U.S. economy. And obviously, we're a major player in the entire global economy. So we, is it when could be again? helpful. Is it going to happen again? Or have we I, run I our think, playbook on that? Yeah, I think if you look at what's going on in life science, the technologies driving significant improvements in, in life science. Uh, if you look at the things that have come out about generative AI and the possibilities that has to improve mm -hmm. productivity. Yep. We're not going to get there, I don't think, by bringing wage rates back down to under 2%. I don't believe that's... That's interesting, yeah. Probably what's going to so happen. So the Fed might but, be looking at the wrong thing. Well, no, they, I think what they're saying is, let's get it down to 4 to 5%, and let's hope productivity brings that down out. to a 2% target. And so automation, productivity, in lots of different ways are going to be really critical to making that work. Did you and uh, hopefully that will happen. But in the near term uh, and midterm, I think we're in for more pain before we get to that place.